This has been basically my favorite computer game since I was like six. And I'm really excited to finally share it with everybody. And let's just go time travel. It's going to be great. Once again, today's top stories. London has endured another night of German bombing. Okay. Most damage was concentrated in the East End. The RAF has struck enemy aerodromes in La Havre and the Low Countries. So we're off to a great start. In Russia, further German losses are Ships already sunk. around Leningrad. In Asia, the American fortress at Corregidor is still defiant, but Japanese that is forces a nice are reported boat. nearing the Burmese oil fields. And that concludes the news summary. We now return you to our music program. He watches. So this is the only piece of music in this entire game that was not especially composed for it. Um, this is a Chopin prelude, and every other piece of music in the game was written specifically for the game based on music of the time period. But Chopin was apparently important enough that they had to put it on on this radio, and I appreciate it. I am, however, going to turn it off because the radio lady is going to come back and talk again. And she's just going to, I'm not going to compete with her. Um, let's see. We got cabinets. Scrubbo. Excellent. Avast, John. Hello. Spaghetti. Apologize if you hear crinkly in the background. My cat just found one of her toys. Oh, bugs. Nope, nope. We're out. We're out. No bugs. Don't like. No thank you. Hello? About time you're awake. You're two weeks late with the rent. War or no war, a tenant in arrears is not a tenant I'll put up with. You don't pay by today, it's the street, I promise. Maybe we won't go out. Um, yes, I can adjust the volume. Give me two seconds. Maybe. Is that better? Also, I think chat is, oh, not that one. Chat is lower in there than I meant it to be. There we go. Okay, all right, glad, glad we've solved that issue. Cool. Uh, so, we've established that it is World War II, which is many years after the Titanic sank. Uh, our landlady doesn't want us to leave. Um, let's see. This looks good. This is fine. Everything's fine. We have a nice bag, though. Um, oh, on this chair is a copy of the book The Wreck of the Titan or Futility which is a book that was written before the Titanic sank and basically predicted everything that happened the night the Titanic went down. It is wild, and you should look that shit up. Little bookmark about the Lord and Lady Lambeth. I guess they're dead. And this calls for rifling through our desk. There we go. Uh, death. That's good. That's that's probably a good sign. Uh, let's see. Okay. Some postcards that I'm not gonna read from Jack. From uh, Jack. And from Deanna, probably. Who knows. Uh, but this reveals that our name is Frank Carlson. Um, there was actually a Frank Carlson listed on the passenger list for the Titanic. Um, they are very large pigs, John. Um, and uh, But this is not necessarily... Uh, oh, so Frank Carlson was listed on the passenger list, but supposedly did not make it onto the ship because, like, his car broke down or something on the way to the docks. So he never actually made it onto the Titanic. 
So I think that's what they were going with is, oh, this is if that guy had been on there. Uh, okay, we have been uh, terminated from His Majesty's Secret Service. That's cool. So we've fucked something up. Hindenburg, great. We have some... We've made some good choices in our lives. <laughs> and I got this uh, pocket watch. See here. This isn't about your dedication. Pringle certainly attests to your loyalty. No, your dismissal stems from the Titanic mission. That failure can no longer be ignored. Especially now. I am sorry. But someone must shoulder the blame. The service, you understand. We can't be held responsible. Cool, so we're hearing voices. That's probably normal. Oh, I think we've... Oh, good! Air raid. Excellent. We could, uh... I don't know if we can get out of here. Uh, landlady's probably gonna stop us if we try to go out the door. Good game, y'all. The past, forever locked in regret. But what if the past could be changed? Thirteen years have come and gone since the night we saw the end of the world, my world. The service needed someone on the Titanic. They chose me. I was to wait for a signal from my contact, so I remained in my cabin. I left only once Georgia was on board. And that's when it came. There'd be no second chance. It was Sunday, April 14th. Too late, you see. Hmm, it's for the Sunday, April 14th for now. Me. What if I'd met with my contact, prevented disaster? What if the past could be changed? What then? We're time travelers! I'm super excited. So back when I was playing this game on a PC as a young child, uh, it was a two disc scenario. And uh, the first disc, you'd have to exchange it at this point to like get to the right data, excuse me. And so basically like disc two was like after you've time traveled. And then later, if you succeed and you finish your time traveling, you got to change back to disc one to go back to the future. So that was neat. I'm, I'll get to it. I'll, I'll answer that in a second. Pocket latch. That's, that's ours now. Uh, fancy, fancy trunk. Nice furniture. This is... Thank you for knocking that over, kitty cat. Uh, this is the actual menu from the night the Titanic went down. Fancier than anything I'll be eating. Uh, let's see. That's our bag. Okay. Who's, who's here? Good evening. Hello. I am Smethels, your steward. You sure are. And if I may say so. It is good to see you up and about. You've been in your cabin the whole voyage. A touch of the Malden mare, was it? I was definitely seasick. Mm -hmm. Seasickness can be quite unpleasant. Especially if it's one's first crossing. Since you haven't been out of your cabin, may I instruct you on how to get assistance while on board the Titanic? I'm gonna go with no, because I know what I'm doing. Very well. Your correspondence. 2,200 on board. And they all want messages delivered promptly. Yeah. Even if it is 1912, and the Titanic, the most advanced means of sea conveyance ever devised, I still have only two hands. All right, you snarky bitch. Here, 
a map of the ship for you. Thank you. Compliments of the Fight Star Line. I have taken the liberty of indicating your cabin, C-73. Of course, on a Sunday evening at this hour, there won't be many people out. Will there be anything else? There will not be, because I know the answers to these. Have you unpacked? You'll find your trunk key in your bag. On why, the bed. why do you know that? If you require additional assistance, please ring the bell by the door. Good night. Cool, so Smethels has definitely been, like, going through our shit. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I'm also gonna hang on a sec here and do another volume check, because this is another, like, drastically different volume scenario. Can y'all still hear me? no idea what the volume is like because it is uh all right i will attempt to move chat lines up again okay that should fix the chat issue Okay, so I have no idea what the, the sound is like, and that's why I keep asking, because it's super extremely loud in my headphones, uh, and I can't adjust it. Alright. Welcome to the Titanic. Uh, we need to go find Penny Pringle, who has summoned us. She's our handler, I guess. Nice medals. Um, she should be upstairs. Now, I could jump using my map, but I kind of like just roaming the ship. Uh, so this should be... Oh, deck. She'll be in the gymnasium. Hi, Penny. Glory be. It's about time. You're late. Another five minutes and I'd have cancelled your mission. What are we gonna do? We're trapped on a boat for the foreseeable future. Like, but, all right, all right. Sorry, I'm late. Watch up. Some idiot in the war office booked me into second, not first class. Oh, heaven for a Fine time of it too. The crew wouldn't let me in the first cabin at all. It's just today I located you. Then why are you mad that I'm late when you're the one who couldn't find me? Huh? Huh? All right, what do you want, Look Penny? This. A German colonel named Zeitel. He's inspecting their embassies in Havana, Washington, and Mexico City. We know better. Of course we do. Ten days ago, the Bureau got word that Zeitel has in his possession a priceless copy of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, stolen two months ago in Paris after its purchase by a very highly placed member of his majesty's government the what now the rubaiyat's a book a collection of medieval persian poetry a passion of his lordships cool poetry persians the german high command must think it's important enough to have their top man smuggle the lot on board why, why why does Zidal want it's it? It's your job to find out. Uh, right. His lordship's watching this very closely. Very closely indeed. What, is he hiding under a table somewhere? <laughs> chance either, unless you fancy spending the rest of your career in some grotty Midland back office shuffling paper about. What are the Germans up to? Have you seen the report? No. In your trunk? No. On the international situation? No. I'd jolly well read it if I were you. No. He's with a protégé. Name of Hedelitz, I believe. The two spend a great deal of time in the Café Parisien. Midland pastry. Get into the wireless room. I don't know or care how. Officer Morrow wouldn't let me in. See if Zeitel's received or sent any telegrams about the Rubaiyat. You've got a cryptograph in your trunk. Of course I, I do. I'll the German codes for you. You use the brains God gave you. All right, all right. 
Listen, when you find the Rubaiyat, knock on my door. What cabin are you in? F 34. Use the second class stairs. You should be set. Remember, this is your big chance. Don't fail. That is a good question, Steve. That's a good point, John. There, yeah. Uh, okay. We need to go outside. Go talk to Officer Morrow. Oh, nope, I lied. We're gonna talk to Georgia first. She's pretty. You came after all this time. It's Georgia. I'd heard you on board. Where have you been? Uh, I was detained. It's been five years. I'd have waited a lot longer to see you again. Why didn't you tell me where you'd gone? Dina hadn't a clue, nor did Jack. My letters were returned. I'd just like you to show up now, with everything such a beastly mess. You must help me. Yes, Lynn, this is our own past. Um... So we were originally on the Titanic the night it sank, and we failed the mission that we're currently on, and apparently that's the reason the world is gone to shit. Uh, but so we're getting this second chance. Um, all right, what in the world are you talking about, Georgia? You've no doubt heard the rumors. Definitely. I won't deny most of them. I can't. Even if the money's gone, I won't give the diamonds to Charles. Never. Ooh, These scandal. Are all that remains. My entrance for a new life without Charles or Sasha. Who's Sasha? Sasha, the owner of the Barbican Gallery. We're friends of a sort. Uh huh. He's sailing on the Titanic, uh -huh. taking some paintings to New York to sell. Please, I mustn't talk any longer. Take it. Take the necklace. It's my only chance now. Keep it for me. And don't tell Charles you have it. You can't know what he's like. Cool, so we have a diamond necklace now. I'm just gonna stick that in there for later. Uh, cool. Let's go find Officer Morrow. Come here. Nope. Come here. No. <laughs> this is the guy I want to talk to. Good evening. Third Officer Morrow here. I am sorry, but this is the officer's promenade. No passengers allowed. Okay, but what if what if I don't want to actually go on to the promenade and we just we just want to talk, huh? Like yes, very calm. How, how about that? Uh, you you seem a little worried there, pal. No moon. I don't like that. Oh, Can't see what's coming. No moon means surprises, as if we don't have enough already, Mister Ismay. The White Star Line's president's on board. Ah, the yes. The walking eggshells round him, I tell you. <laughs> Though that's nothing compared to the creeping about my brother-in-law's doing at the moment. His entire London office is in an uproar. Uh, can you elaborate? Tom works in the Admiralty. Seems our plans for troop deployments against Germany disappeared three weeks ago. Tom says the big boys have petrified the Jerrys who get wind of it could upset the balance of power. Politics. Desktop espionage. Bureaucrats. Ha! Give me the C. You can toss the rest. I love the faces this guy makes as he's talking. <laughs> Don't care much for bureaucrats? Never have. Not since the war. Which war was that? South Africa. Boer War. Ah, uh, yes. The officer was a of drinker. Course. He was drunk when they trapped us out on the veldt. On a moonless night. It was a massacre. We never saw them coming. Drink always leads to the devil. Well, small wonder moonless nights make you jumpy there, pal. An interesting connection. For all I know, it could be true. You're about to get a lot worse Times for you. Troubles, sick child, being away from home. But I hate whiners. <laughs> and apologizers. Well, thank you for your insight. So, uh, would you be cool if I went in the wireless room and rifled through all the papers in there? Have a look, why don't you? Cool. Mind you, Phillips will have my head if he catches you in there. It's fine. He him. won't find me. He won't find me. Cool. 
There you go. Alright, what can I get my sticky little fingers all over? Um, okay, so this is going to make a lot of noise. I'm going to apologize in advance. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. On is a good start. Oh, it is absolutely a stealth mission, Steve. <laughs> Remember what the rest of those do. Oh, you know what? We don't actually need to do this yet. We just need to steal the telegram. We'll come back and do this mess later. We do actually have to attempt to send a mission, a letter, telegram, telegram at some point. Uh, lots of icebergs. That's not super interesting. Mm -hmm. Arriving Chicago. Weather good. Whatever. Huh, this looks suspicious. Coded message going to Germany. Uh-huh. That's mine now. They'll never know it was me. I want to know what's in the silent room. Okay. Okay. We've we've gotten the telegram we needed, we gotta go back to our cabin and decode it. But I think I wanna to talk to this guy. In his very bad suit. Don't you love the sea air? <sighs> really clears out the sinuses. Max Seidelman, Philadelphia, PA. Buyer for Haymakers Department Store. The shoppy of Spruce Street, they call me. Do they? You a sporting type? You look like the sporting type. Come on down to the smoking room for a nightcap. Riviera's looking for someone to play a few hands of blackjack with him. What do you say? Not much else to do. Not tonight. Oh my God. Brr. Cold as a cast iron <laughs> commode out here. So, what do you say? He's asked me seven questions and not given me time to answer any of them. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll go. <laughs> First, let's swing by the Parisian cafe. There's a man there named Zydel. This is not what I agreed to, but... He claims he's a businessman, but he's got something up the sleeve, all right. I know the type. Believe me. Dollars to donuts, he's in some racket. So come with, why don't you? We'll sure. hit the smoking room from there. Hey, Colonel, how you doing? Willie, like you to meet a friend. <laughs> this guy does have good hey. facial expressions. <laughs> These guys definitely aren't evil. <laughs> Hedelitz and I, we welcome diversion during such an uneventful passage, don't we, Willy? Certainly. Willy is at the University of Vienna, dissecting children's fables. C cultural mythology, it's quite interesting. So only a junior professor, I tried to interest Dr. Freud. He's a genius, and I... I... Casual name drop? Yes, I am sure, quite. On the passenger list, it says you embarked at Cherbourg. Yet I have not seen you with the others. You were there, were you not? Why, why are you taking so much of an interest in me there, pal? I was sick. I see. You are British. I guess. Not so many of you in Titanic's first cabins. These days, most of the rich are Americans. Businessmen like Max. Tell me, why do you go to New York? Business. Business. And it's none of yours. How interesting, considering the British are not so good at it. Wow, fuck you, sir. And what do you do with your illustrious life? Me? Inspecting our embassies. Imperial Germany desires to make a good impression in North America. Oh boy. Really continuing on, to the west, uh, to conduct research on Aboriginal customs. The Indians, they are fascinating. This yes, game's a little yes. racist. However, I place faith in science, not superstition. The colonel was saying this wireless stuff's revolutionizing everything. Sending messages to each other. It's the end of books and newspapers. I know nothing about telegrams. Titanic, what are you talking about? A technological triumph. Here we dined in comfort while racing along at 20 knots. Well, it's too high to be outside the world by the wireless. That reminds me, Colonel Cycle. When I go to send you a telegram, they told me it was to be delayed. There are too many messages. The passengers... I am sure our guests do not care to hear a detailed discussion of your encounter with telegraphy. I've already had my own excuse encounter. Me? Please, excuse us. 
How about you call on us tomorrow, here, in the cafe? The Linzer Tort's quite passable for a British ship. Stop by. Billy and I welcome it most heartily. Yes, most heartily. And before I leave, you must allow me to give you some advice. But do not wander the ship. It is not good, I think, on a ship as big as the Titanic. Good night, friends. Bitch, I do good what night. I want. See? What did I tell you? What did I say? Them two. Up to something, I'd say. The brainy kid gives me the creeps. <laughs> what a grind. He should hang out with that little blonde. She's a look, I tell you. Who? Come on, let's hit the smoking room. I'll oh introduce you to Riviera. What do you say? I'm gonna pass because I don't want to listen to you talk anymore. And I don't really feel like playing cards. I'm kind of on a mission here, but thanks, Max. Okay, I'll be up in the smoking room if you change your mind. Goodbye. Okay, and time passes. Okay, let's go, uh... Ooh, you know what? Did he leave something else? He did. He left his pipe on the table, and now it's mine. I just steal things from everyone. That's part of my job as a secret service guy. Okay, nice hat. Uh, oh, I lied. We're downstairs. One more flight. Side. There we are. Okay. Time for some super secret spy work. Key. Open up this trunk. Yes. Majesty's government has assigned an agent of the Crown to rendezvous with you on board the Titanic. Remain in your cabin until your contact gives you further instructions. After completion of all your assignments on board, book passage to remain on the ship and return to Southampton for your next assignment. For a more in-depth report of the international situation in the spring of 1912, Please review the white paper included as part of this briefing. That is all. His no, no, stop. Stop, no, no more. I don't know. No. With you on board stop. Titanic. Remain in your stop. Until your contact gives you foot. Okay. Ooh. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we're getting to the spy work. Okay. So. I apologize in advance. The music's gonna do some weird shit. And I don't know why it does, but it always does. Uh, but it freaks out whenever you translate telegrams. Fuck that up. That's fine. Eight. Seven. Oh, fuck. Five. Four. Cool. Uh, gonna Windows 95 games are wild. HQ. Rubaiyat, hidden in boiler room 3, coal chute number 4. SB will deliver painting after pickup. Will confirm. Zytel. Alright, motherfucker, I'm on to you. Got some good spy work here today. Okay, so... As we make our way down to the boiler room to go retrieve this thing, 
Um, there are... We're also going to jump because I can never remember how to get there. We're just gonna... Magically appear where I need to be. Uh, there are four objects that we need to leave the ship with in order to get a perfect game. We need the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. We need the painting that was mentioned in the telegram. And we need a necklace from Georgia, which we appear to have obtained. And we need uh, a notebook, which we will learn more about later. Hello, sir. Can I just sneak past you? No. I can't regulate the steam for boilers one and two. So I don't have time for you. You're where you shouldn't be. Get up top before you're kicked up there. But what if I tell you that I'm a secret agent and I can do what I want? Oh, with White Star, are you? Definitely. You've come. Mm -hmm. I've got some serious problems with this control panel. I am definitely equipped to solve that problem. She's really acting up. See? Still working the bugs out of her. See for yourself. How about it? Oh boy. Okay, showing the turbine's power output. The needle's got to move into the green zone. Over here. Of course, this is the one puzzle I didn't write down the solution for. I think I remember it. Let's see. Definitely equipped to do this kind of work. That thing is not moving at all. Alright. Come on, needle, you gotta move. Nothing, huh? I don't know about you, Lynn, but I sure don't know how to pilot a ship. I also don't know how to fix the steam boiler. Why am I not getting any signs of life? I'm pulling all the levers, Kronk! None of them work! not right here because this is supposed to be going back and forth as I move things and I'm not getting any signs of life so I'm gonna back up a second and try it again You're still running too rough what's wrong <sighs> let me try again right there's a gauge showing the turbines power output the needle's got to move into the green zone I've never had this problem before <laughs> So, the problem I'm encountering is that this thing should be moving, and it's not. I'm getting no response whatsoever from it. should, you know, do something, but it's not. Nothing at oh, all. Jesus. God damn it. The one thing I don't write the answer down to.
I'm trying, Lynn. I'm trying. This is my least favorite puzzle. I've never had this happen before. This is actually... It doesn't have a Wumbo setting! It doesn't have Wumbo! Too rough. What's wrong? Just tell me the answer, my dude. Here, take a look at the instruction manual. Great, thanks. Me. Counterclockwise. Left half way. I have never seen this instruction booklet ever. <clears throat> Heat. Three quarters, three quarters. Counterclockwise. Then close the steam valve. Can I just ask the authorized turbine dealer now? Alright. Right. There's a gauge showing the turbine's power output. The needle's gotta move into the green zone. Really glad we're not in the part of the mission where I have to be timed. Oh, now you're moving, you little shit. Motherfucker. Oh, go back. That's the alien, Steve. Oh, have, a, have a peek in the engine room. She's quite a sight. The security on this ship is a little concerning. Arylin, you are the first one to make the uh, time tannic pun, and I am here for it. Okay, let's get our asses into the boiler room. One. That's two. That's three, and mm, that's concerning. Hello, sir. You are a passenger. Excuse me, I would speak with you. Okay, what do you want? Forgive me, I am sorry to intrude on you, a person of such high station. I am Vlad. What are your troubles, Vlad? I have many. I'm sure you do. My home. I am a Serb and they have killed my wife, my children. That's the awful. Mm. For that, they will pay. But I do not want to burden you. Please, I need a favor. I have a friend in first class, in cabin A14. Mr. Bobicon has a package for me. Can you bring it here? <sighs> Why can't you get it? Me? Enter first class like this? Uh, that's no, fair. They would catch black. All right. What's your friend's name? His name is Barbicon in A14. Tell him you come from Vlad. He will give you the package. I wait here for your return. Your assistance will be repaid many fold. Barbican. As in Sasha Barbican. 
as in the Sasha Barbican that Georgia is supposedly having an affair with. The plot thickens. Well, before we do that fetch quest, we're gonna just... Nope, I lied. Wrong one. Wrong one. Miscounted. It's this one. That's the room I at. However, if I go up those stairs with the Rubaiyat in my hands, I will be killed immediately. Vlad will shoot me dead. So instead, I'm just gonna hide it in a different coal chute. And they'll never find it. Because they're idiots. Don't mind me, Vlad. I definitely did not move the thing you're supposed to be getting. I cannot jump through the ship while I'm in uh, the underbelly. Almost free. Okay, let's pop open the map. Go visit Sasha, who is on a deck in A14, I believe. Which I think is on this side. Alright, I guess I'll just wait for the rando to walk past. That's cool. Go, A14. Hello, excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for Mr. Barbican. You found him. Sasha Barbican of Barbican Galleries. Now, what is it that I can help you with? Do you know Georgia? Our history is quite <laughs> complex. She's here. Certainly. Georgia's a woman who does not go unnoticed. <laughs> Georgia exudes a certain romantic paranoia. A condition, I fear, worsened by Charles' own romance with whiskey. Mm, that's not good. <laughs> one hears there are financial problems. They say Charles owes Andrew Conkling thousands of pounds. Can I trust Georgia? Georgia? Have you talked to her? You be the judge. She's accused me of outrageous deeds, libelous practically. I'm part Slav, you see, a Serbian on my mother's side. Georgia finds such a mixture a source for wild stories. Not much anyone can do, I'm afraid. George is in clear need of a rest. Anyway, uh, Vlad sent me. For Vlad? He's on board? Please come in. <laughs> My cabin's bigger than yours. I told him not to, told him I'd pay his ticket, but he was too proud. Such a tragedy about his family. They were with my mother's people. What happened to his family? When Austria took Bosnia, they were killed. Many were... With his family dead, America seems as good a place as any for Vlad. What's he gonna do there? Ask Vlad, I don't know. <laughs> that was an excellent yeah. shrug. Things. He'll be glad to get them. It's rather late. You're the one who invited me into your cabin. So don't you complain, good sir. Good night. And don't believe what Lady Georgia says. She's not well. Enjoy your voyage. Yeah, that's not creepy. All right, well, uh, let's go give Vlad what he wants. All the way back down into the underground of the ship. This ship had better still be running because I'm not doing that puzzle again. Okay. There we go. Boiler room one. Boiler room two. And Vlad. Bye, have your package. Thank you. I must see Mr. Barbican. I have bad news. Oh, that's unfortunate. He will not be happy. I am looking for something. 
something very important, but you did not hear. You have seen a small... I've seen exactly what you're looking for, but you can't have it. You're an idiot. Okay, now we can safely retrieve the book and not get murdered on our way back up the stairs. Let's stick that in here. Cool. So that's another item out of the way. Uh, yes, Vlad is the Serbia, John. All of Serbia. He has all kinds of weapons on his person. <laughs> I can say that from experience. Excuse me. Do, 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 do. I think it is time we visit Penny, who conveniently lives at the top of these stairs. Penny. Did you get it? Did you find the Rubaiyat? Heck yeah, I did. I did a lot of things. Uh, I decoded a telegram. Smashing. What have you learned? Uh, the Rubaiyat was in the boiler room. I was room. how you got so dirty. There's a spot on your cheek. Yes, right there. You got it. Thank you. <laughs> More art? Zeitel's no connoisseur. No, there's something about that painting of interest to the German High Command. Right, guess we're gonna have to get the painting. Also, I met Vlad. I don't have any information about Vlad, but the other fellow, look here. Where are so you getting these pictures from? Is a London art dealer named Sasha Barbican. They say he smuggles art, and he's not above selling stolen merchandise. Mm -hmm. Files say he's Serbian, interestingly enough, with links to some shady Balkan groups. Mm hmm. Well, uh, here's the book you want. Let me see. That's the Rubaiyat, all right. Well done. Leave it with the purser for safekeeping. Okay. It shall be undisturbed there. Now what? The painting's what Zeitel's really after. You must secure it. Where or how, I don't care. Just find it and bring it back here. Remember, leave the Rubaiyat with the purser for safekeeping. He might also know where the painting's stored. Sneak a peek at his cargo manifest. That should help you find the painting. Cargo stored somewhere beneath the forecastle deck. Things are thickening up quite nicely, aren't they? We Please don't phrase things like that. On that painting. Don't fail. Okay, so we have ten real-world minutes to get this painting before Sasha absconds with it. So... Things are gonna get, uh, interesting. So he's gonna talk to the purser. Casually crash the game? <laughs> Come on, man! This is fine. Alright. Sir. Ooh, we're getting real buggy here. Oh, uh, what do you want? Uh, oh god. <laughs> Uh, I require assistance. Perhaps. As purser, I'm in charge of the Titanic's passengers. Yeah, great, great, great. Uh... Cargo manifest. Certainly not. The manifest is the purser's. Only I look at the manifest. Alright, fuck you. I live to serve. Uh-huh. I would like to check in this book. Very nice. Security is our first priority. I'll put it in the safe. Great. Why? You were talking about Mr. Thayer. Not that it matters. I'm much too busy. I must just get tell me what you want. Mr. Thayer. Mr. Thayer expects his private train car to meet him in New York, and I can't leave my post. But I need to send this telegram. All right. All right. All right. Help. Yes, it might be helpful if you delivered this message to the wireless room for me. Even better, why don't you send it for me? Cool. Mr. Thayer is a very important man. So send the telegram at once. And when you have, don't forget to tell me. Cool. Very good, then. Good night. 
Okay. Uh, so we gotta get back to the wireless room, which thankfully we should still have access to because we already made friends with Officer Morrow, which will save us some time. Shit! Quick, I've tracked Cycle and Sasha to the ship's stern. They're having a rather heated conversation. But Penny! You can listen in. I'll track their movement. Penny! That was not a good time! Ah! Uh... Uh, no, sorry, I did not disturb you. Didn't, didn't mean to disturb you. Uh, how do I get back downstairs? I used to know how to do this. Shit. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Um, let's get onto the closed promenade. Ooh, that was interesting. How do I get outside? should be right underneath them. Yes, there they are. We have a problem, Zydel. Which is? The Rubion. It was not at your drop point. <laughs> you are sure? <laughs> Most definitely. But I put it there myself. If that happened. There's a third party on board. An agent working against you. Against us. How do you know? My servants saw them at the drop. They now have the Rubion. This could ruin me, Zydel, if I were found out. But they should take precautions. What about the painting? Did your associate bring it up from the cargo hold? No, I don't have it. No? But I put it there myself. Sasha, I've discovered a traitor. Don't look so startled. It is not you. You mean Hadelitz, your associate? Oh, no. No longer no. my associate, I am afraid. Oh, Very really? Very intellectual. And intellectuals aren't smart enough for espionage. Now, I must recover the painting and its plans. I fear this third party may already have possession of it. And Hadelitz? Thank you for asking. I believe it will bring no further harm to the Fatherland. Oh I no. Let us plan. Oh, Willie's about to have a really bad day. But uh, we can't stop to think about that. We really gotta send this telegram. Ah, I can't go around that way, damn it. <sighs> okay, this is fine. Everything's fine. Just gonna go send that telegram. Hello, sir. Don't mind us. Definitely not causing trouble in here. Uh, okay. Nope. Nope. Back up. On. What the setting is. Crud. Transmit. <sighs> Correct frequency is what? 200 kilohertz. Okay. Oh, this is miserable to do. Come on. Ugh. It couldn't have been like 700. It's got to be 200. Oh, come on. This is also really hard to do with a trackpad. This is the longest part of the 10 minutes. It's just sending this fucking telegram. <laughs> ah! This rate, I could probably send a pigeon faster.
I understood all those words separately, John. I do not understand them when you put them together. Oh, come on. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Yes. Okay. All right. We got a light. Okay. All right. Telegram. The good news is we don't actually have to send an accurate message. You're not going to be able to see it type correctly anyway. Send train, please. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Sent the telegram. Gotta go back. Tell him we sent definitely an accurate message. Okay. Yes, can I help you? I sent it, I sent it, I sent it. You sent it? Marvelous. Great. I was afraid you'd forgotten. Mr. Thayer will be most grit uh, grateful. Yeah, okay. Shall I tell them? And let them think the purser's not doing his job. I am the purser, and as purser, I am the one who looks after the passengers. Mr. Thayer is vice president of the Pennsylvania Railroad, and it is I who shall inform the Thayers that their train will be waiting. So, if you'll excuse me. Cool. No, look at the cargo manifest. And find that the artwork will be in the Lemke and Buchner shipping for the Barbican galleries. But the problem is I still don't have access. So I gotta leave. And then go immediately back in. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I need keys. Oh wait, go away, I'm too busy. <laughs> is it or Strauss? He's lost a cup. Of course he has. And he's so particular. I'll go find it. Thank you. It is a gold cup. Mm -hmm. Mr. Strauss will be very grateful. Cool. Music changes down here and it's creepy. And here's the cufflink. Okay. Back upstairs. It's the one deck where that changes and it's weird. Okay. Yes, can I help you? I did your fetch quest. Wonderful. Mr. Strauss will be quite pleased that I found his cup. You're I a shall dick. deliver it at once. I'm just sure his gratitude will be reflected most generously. Alright, get out of here, you greedy bastard. I'm gonna steal the keys that are obviously for me. Okay. Okay. Cargo hold. Cargo hold. Um how do I get in the cargo hold? It's been a hot minute. I need to be out on the forecastle deck. Which means I have to go from A deck, I believe. Shit, I didn't write this down in my cheat sheet. Okay, forecastle deck, forecastle deck. I get there. Where are the fucking stairs? Ha, huh, okay. Okay, this is good. This is fine. We should have plenty of time to get in there. Cargo hold. Need to get in there, please. Nobody's allowed to. You've got the keys. Yes, I have keys. Let me enter. in. Let me in. Of course you can enter. <gasps> right this way. Come to visit your new automobile, Yes, eh? definitely. <laughs> say I blame you. She's a beauty. Oh God, shut up. Gleaming like a new penny. Right this way. And mind your head, it's dark in there. You'll find your way from here. All right, thanks. One, two, three. Oh, one too far. It's this one in here. Turn on the car headlights. So I can see what I'm doing. With any luck, 
There will be a painting. Yes! Oh, okay. Okay, everything's easy from here on out. Because if you don't get to the painting in time, you're fucked. Because then you can't get a perfect game, and I am only here for the perfect game. The number of times where I've gotten here and this frame is empty, it is... Oh, okay. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. We got the painting. <laughs> it does change the ending, Steve. The ending changes depending on which combination of items you get off the ship with, or whether or not you get off the ship. Uh, hello, sir. I would like to leave now. Okay. We got the book. We got the painting. We have some diamonds. We need to go talk to Penny. She'll know what to do now. Not that I don't know what to do, but we're supposed to talk to Penny. <laughs> Yes. Splendid. But now something else has come up. That snooty steward Smethers was looking for you. Of course he was. And kick him smartly in the shins. I will. Here's a message for you. Okay, except I actually want to talk to you about the painting. Did you get the painting? Yes. Okay. She's definitely going to make me bring it back later. So I'm not going to give it to the purser right now. Cuz there's crap on the back of it. Alright, this is fine. Let's go find Smethels. He's probably around here somewhere. Speak of the devil. Still wondering? Of course. This ship holds a strange fascination for you. Uh-huh. Most peculiar. Yes. I have a message from a young German gentleman by the name of Haderlitz. Oh no. He would like to meet you. In the squash court. They've opened it for him. Highly irregular, I must say. Especially for fencing. I'm... I have several questions, Smethels. <laughs> this sounds like I'm going to get murdered. Is he alone? Surely he is. The percentage of passengers demanding the courts late on a Sunday night is small. Minuscule, actually. Okay, probably getting murdered. Did you say fencing? Yes. Apparently, he does not favor racket sports. Cool. Definitely gonna get murdered. Thanks. Meanwhile, I shall inform the young German gentleman that you will meet him presently. Okay. Alright, let's go, uh... Fence with Willy. Yeah, let's take the elevator. Let's, let's do that. Evening. I'm the lift attendant. Of course you are. And you'll not find one better at taking you where you want to go. You can only go in so, two directions, my dude. D-Deck. Mind the gate. Did you attend the party last night on D-Deck? Seen the Lady Georgia, did you? Notice those diamonds round her neck? A block of the ones that are in my bag her. now? Pity she's unhappy. Her husband always arguing with her, like just now. She's gone outside on A-Deck. Almost there. <laughs> Okay, let's try to find this squash court so we can get murdered. Oh, it's this one, that's why. The squash court. He does look a little bit like uh, Leo. You are correct. Oh god. Meet so many people on the Titanic. He's gonna murder us. Exactly. I like the English. I wish I knew more of them. Now you have the opportunity of fencing with me. Three time champion of my university. Ray. You're also an excellent athlete, yes? Colonel Seitel believes it so. I'm an excellent fencer. The Colonel is very seldom confused about anything. You will play. If you win, perhaps, I relate to you some stories. And if I don't win, you kill me? <laughs> My foil, please. 
Welcome to one of the worst mini games in the game. Uh, it is a bitch and a half to do with a trackpad, but we're gonna try. And ultimately, it doesn't matter if we win or lose. This is definitely how fencing works. Come on! Damn. I also want you to think about what the um, filming process must have been like for this sequence. Thank you, John. I think my trackpad's dying. This is good. Aha! Allons-y. Alright, he cheats. Like hardcore cheats. You are the loser, how unfortunate. That Titanic, how quickly she is moving. The engines are loud here. We are nearing the Grand Banks. The Vikings thought this part of the North Atlantic cursed. Even modern sailors call it the Devil's Hole, a place of deadly surprises. Things aren't always what they seem, yes? Like me, for example, I am German. But I am also a friend to others, perhaps even the English. Another match? Afterwards, we can tell more tales. I'm unclear if he's trying to come on to us or if he's just preparing to murder us. Okay, hopefully a little bit better this time if my trackpad cooperates. So the only difference between winning and losing is that you get the information faster if you win. Which ultimately means less fencing. Okay, you damn cheater. He's just straight up cheating right now. Love when my trackpad works. You are the loser, how unfortunate. Yes. Wanna know about the uh, Seidel's interest in art? Why do you assume he is interested in paintings? I didn't say paintings. Yes, yes. Art. That is what I meant. And 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 you are mistaken. Colonel Seidel cares little for art, mm -hmm. unlike his friend Herr Barbicon. I notice he likes old Vienna. For he has many pictures of the city. Tell me more about you, you Willie. Remember, only one thing is certain, and the rest is lies. Uh, what? <laughs> is a quote from an old book I had the recent opportunity to read. But I tell you more, I am associate professor at the University of Vienna. I document the mythos, the legends of mankind. I, I'm on my way to New Mexico to study the Yoni Indians and the Dr. Van der Plaas. Tell me I more. I am interested in what Dr. Freud calls the unconscious mind, what happens below the surface of experience. Tell me, what frightens you more, fire or ice? This guy's voice cracking is killing me. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna go with fire? The ancient Aryans believed men would see four ages. According to them, this is now the Wolf Age, an age that ends with ice. After the Wolf Age ends, mankind shall experience a fire that will burn for two generations. Clearly a metaphor cool. for a war we must all try to prevent. Yes? We might be coming on to him also, then. <laughs> will favor the English over Germany. We're, we're very good spies. Yeah, we gotta keep fencing. He's got more information that I require. This goddamn game. Okay, okay, here we go. Fucking cheater. I'm hitting the button and nothing happens. Great. Honestly, it's faster to just let him win at this point. <laughs> Very good. You have proven yourself. 
and I must confide in you. Colonel Seidler suspects I fail my friends more than Germany. He's right. Am, am I a friend? Oh, match. oh, fine. Come on, man. Just give me the thing you gotta give me. I don't want a fence. See how good. See how good. Damn. Come on. This is definitely not an approved use of the squash cord. <laughs> Allons-y. Aha! Allez. Ah, oh, you fucker! Allez. No! Damn him! You are the loser. How unfortunate. Another match? God damn it, I gotta beat him once. <laughs> he has something I need. <laughs> And I guess he won't give it to me unless I win. Come on, I, I've never had this much trouble beating him. Usually it's some trouble, but like not quite this level of absurdity. Bullshit. That is bullshit. That's even more bullshit. Come on. You are the loser. How unfortunate. Another match? I think I'd have to beat him to get this item. This has been the weirdest run of this game for me. I see nothing wrong with this. I enjoyed fencing the one semester I took it. But unfortunately, I have noodly arms and weak wrists, so it did not last long. You fucking cheater! Are you kidding me? Ha! Ha ha! Well, yes, I do. You are a great athlete. Yes. Another match? If I say no, what happens? Ah, a pity. If you change your mind, I shall be waiting. Son of a bitch, he's gonna make me keep fighting him. God damn it! Rubython is a charity Let's Play and gaming marathon organization. Check us out on Twitch or at rubython.org.